Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because I have met someone that I have been friends with for a long time, but I met her in real life today. This is Hi. Kaya. <laughs> you may know her as Elite Doll World and she has agreed to let us do a doll tour with her, a doll room tour with her. So she's gonna give us the grand tour of her doll room and y'all have been looking around in here. It is a feast for the eyes. So you guys are in for a very exciting doll room tour. So enough from me, let's turn it over to Katya so she can show us her dolls. Well, thanks so much, Allison, first of all, for letting me on your channel. I'm really excited to uh, share with you and with your followers my room, uh, the things I do in this room, how everything's set up, because I do get requests about that, how things are done. So that's really exciting for me to share with you guys as well, and I'm so happy I got to meet Allison finally, because it seems like we've known each other for a while. It does. We've, we've just been talking, like, we, we went to lunch earlier, and um, it took a little while, and she was like, I'm sorry it took so long, and I was like, w we got to talk, and she's like, that's what we're going to do wherever we are. We're just going to talk, so it's been such a wonderful day so far. So. so thank you so much once again for um, coming over and doing this with me over here, and let's get on to let's showing and see how things are working on one side of my room where I keep all of these... Um, all of the dolls, smart dolls, my anime dolls, uh, basically I call it a playline dolls a section where um, the dolls that I collected before I started making um, doll clothing or after I tried to keep all of my pieces here that are for the release, like for example my smart dolls right now, the way they're wearing all of these pieces that are going to be released this week. I also do love uh, collecting a zone pure nemos um, which are 112 scale dolls and also uh, pico nemos which are on the other side of the wall as well as i have my little store dolls which i absolutely adore i had to get them and i got a bunch of them one actually fell and it's like what is it doing over there <laughs> but uh that's another section that i really love these miniature small tiny dolls and i love dressing them up on the bottom here i have it's a small section for uh dedicated towards my mini fee dolls none of them are here because they are all being they're all waiting to be dressed up soon for one of the upcoming releases that's why none of them are here so um Hopefully we can get the release going shortly. And on the top I have uh, three of my Blythe dolls that I carved a while ago. I've stopped doing this, um, but I really enjoyed uh, doing them and that's where they're sitting at this moment. In case you wondered, she is very talented in <laughs> very you. many different doll endeavors, which you're gonna see as we go around this room. Thank you so much, Allison. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first section of uh, that I made just dedicated to these dolls and then I'm going, once again, as I said, um, mentioned, these are all of the small dolls wearing the outfits for this upcoming release and I like to keep them out just for different purposes just to see what's out what I'm making and what to make next as well as for some stain prevention because at least they will be wearing them for a week or so or even sometimes more and so next station we have here is this shelf um, just random dolls I would say uh, there are a few Barbies which uh, I love Barbies from a young age um, my first doll was a Barbie and I had to get some love the Barbie to move uh, bodies and I have my Billie Eilish doll I just love her music and that's why I decided I needed to have her in my collection and just a few of the other dolls of a zone pure Nemo and Pico Nemo's in the boxes because I think it looks cool just to have a few dolls in the boxes on my shelf and this is why it really brings me pleasure just to look at a few of the boxes. On the bottom shelf I have some a few dioramas that I made for small doll scales. I think this is 124th and I usually use them for staging with my smart dolls or any other dolls that I do the photos with. And one of the things, one of the dolls that I have to keep on the station is the American Girl doll and it's Molly. It's my Paige's, um, my daughter's Paige's favorite doll and um, it's here. It's not going anywhere so I have to keep her here. And the last thing that I have here on this table uh, is the dollhouse which was my dream from the young age is the 112 scale dollhouse. I built it up all myself. I bought a kit for this and I just went for it. Um, it's, uh, I think I believe it's called um, it's sold at the Hobby Lobby 
not sure the name of it, but anyways, um, you can totally build this house and if you can see when you want something, you can do it and it's not that complicated. So you can How take a look at- How long did it take you to put together? Um, if, if, I were, if I was to do this from one day, every single day nonstop, it would probably take me about no more than a week. Let's okay. do it this way. Okay. But I had to break it up into different pieces because right with my work and uh, right. things. I can't do things every single day. So right. it took me about probably a couple of months to finish okay. it. Um, once again, all of these pieces I purchased from different stores, different areas, um, and it's just fun for me to have it here. So this is it pretty much what goes on the top from this level and then the bottom we have all of the drawers where I love to keep everything nice and neat and organized I know exactly where it's at so we can start from the first one which is right here and this one is all for my smart dolls and I keep everything here my the most important things for me the most used the ones that I would personally take to onto the vacations and I organize them by um, tops and bottoms I absolutely love organizing. It makes my life happier. We can do, we can put it this way. So that's the whole um, section for the smart dolls clothing. The next one I dedicated to wigs slash shoes. Once again, for smart dolls, this is where I keep them. Um, I like to have them just laying flat rather than standing because once again, it's more practical for me. And I like to organize the shoes by boots, by heels, wow. by low boots. Wow. Some, I believe. Some Feast your eyes, you guys, <laughs> yep. on all these shoes. And here I have my, we used to have a lot of, and we plan to bring these back pieces back, um, the basic uh, fabrics, which are leggings, tops, shorts, socks, and etc. And I keep one of each for myself just because when I need to match it up with something else that I have already. Um, once again, here is another section for smart dolls, and this is all the lace. I kept each single piece of the lace that I've made uh, previously. I love lace, love lace pieces, and this is where we add all of them here. And we have more smart dolls items here. These are for boy dolls. Um, I know I need to make more boy doll clothing. <laughs> <laughs> here are just the shoes for the boys, oh, wow. which we have three now, and I'm gonna show them to you later. They, they are just laying on the shelf and waiting to be dressed up. And these are just some extra excess um, clothing that I normally take traveling. Like you can see, this was in my last traveling where mm -hmm. I took um, with us to, to tennis tournaments. The next one is for mini fee. And these are the wigs. Oh wow. I love doll wigs. Um, obsessed about them. The hair is one of my other weakness and here I organize. Look at all the hands and eyes. Hands, well. feet, everything. I love, love, as I said, to keep things in place. Um, shoes and is another weakness, as you already saw with my smart mm -hmm. dolls. Love having doll shoes. I can never have too many. Wow. <laughs> and on top of it, since I have um, quite a few different doll scales, you may be surprised how some shoes, and these are some extra mini fee wigs, which are made out of, um, the different fiber, mm -hmm. not the um, not the angora hair, mm -hmm. um, and you'll find how some some shoes they'll fit different other dolls that you had no idea that would fit, that would fit. right? Mm -hmm. As well, I never I can say I can never have too many shoes because I know they'll fit, they'll fit so, somebody, someone. right? And here's um, these are all of the I believe three drawers that are dedicated to my smaller dolls, one sixth and one oh, twelfth. Wow. These are all of the tiny hands, they're all organized by the size and I love it. It just makes I me I love so it too. Just looking at it, it's like so small, tiny containers mm -hmm. with all the clothing. These are all for a Bitsu body or Pico Nemo. And for example, this is my favorite. Um, this is my container from here that I would just grab and go to travel. Mm -hmm. Right, so for these- changing clothes. Yep, I right. just have my some of my favorites along with the most accessories, the, um, the, uh, the main important that I need for mm -hmm. travel with them. So you and would grab both of those boxes. If and and the third somewhere. one, and which the shoes, is of the course. shoes, the large box right. with the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a lot of shoes. Um, 
So yeah, basically, and these are all just different clothing, clothing. These are all my Kiki Pops here. Oh yeah. These are more shoes. Wow. More things, so. That's where we're at, and I believe this one is just the random items, such as, I believe, let's see what's in here. This one's pretty much empty, but I have some of my lights that I may want to use. I have, uh, these are all of the pieces from Pico Nemo or Pure Nemo mm -hmm. that the doll originally came in with. I like to keep them like this in a Ziploc yeah. bag, so in case if I need to pull it out, I know which. I do, I do the same thing with the full sets. I keep them in one yep. bag so you can keep everything together. So that's what pretty much one side of the doll room. We're now continuing the tour in her photo studio, so take it away. Thank you. Uh, so here's my little area where I do all of my photos for Etsy or Instagram, and this is the place where I actually switch out my diorama, my setups, the walls, the, um, the furniture, accessories, and everything. And basically, all dolls, um, whoever I can take photos of, they can all go here. Um, once again, different scales. Whoever I need to take a photo of quickly in a house, not going outside. And this is probably one of the most, the busiest space in my doll room because I spend so much time in here where one of the things I have underneath, and this is sort of my memory and important thing for me, is Grace's Bakery. This is one of the American Girl doll items that my daughter and I, uh, we got it for her birthday, I believe, or Christmas. I have to remind myself what that was for, but we got it for her. And we spent so much time playing with this Grace's Bakery and the fun things that we literally had to buy the shelf dedicated just for this bakery because it's tall and not too many pieces go for this item. So we bought this from Ikea and this is where it's now at. I don't play with this much nowadays, but it's staying there just as a memory. And in case if I do want to sit down and play, it's always there, so it's not moving. But this is the photo studio once again. Um, it's it's and you simple. You change these backgrounds out. I change the backgrounds. Uh, they're made of foam boards. I buy them from either Hobby Lobby or Amazon. I use the contact paper. This is also the contact paper. I use the variety of the plants that I buy mm -hmm. from all over, wherever I see it, wherever my eye falls onto. Mm -hmm. If it's doll related scale item, I most likely will grab it. Uh, the rugs are also from Amazon. Um, the flooring is from Home Depot. It's a sticky flooring. It's very easy to install and assemble and I put it on um, on the foam board right if, if you can see I actually can swap them so I put them most likely on the foam board once again either from Home Depot or um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels Amazon any foam board but it should be a little bit thicker than uh, normal and that's pretty much it that's so cool. that's where I do the thing you want to tell us about the shelf over here just uh, briefly Sure, this is the shelf where when my dolls are <laughs> not being used for the photos and I need to quickly undress them, lay them down, and this is where they'll go. If I need to grab one, I'll just take one from there and I put the rugs on each shelf so they're nice and safe. I have some boxes on the top and they're actually dedicated to my art fashion BGT dolls or some uh, resin dolls that are still in the boxes. So I don't wanna keep them in the storage, therefore I keep them close to me by me where I can see them so they warm my heart every time I see I know what's in there and that's pretty much it with this corner. We're on to the last section of her doll room now and this might be my favorite section. I told my husband I need an area like this in my room, but now I'm gonna let her talk about it. Thank you. So this is the newest area that I have recently dedicated to my art fashion BJD dolls such as as you can see right now, I have Pasha Pasha and I have Joy Dolls. Uh, it is a slow process where right now I only have one drawer right here, which I organize just for these dolls, where eventually these spaces will be taken by the drawers and the chairs will be left on the other side. So once again, it's always a process. This room never, uh, funny enough, it never stays the same. It always moves it. Things move around for the purpose of the, the easiest way for me to use them. I love, 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 as I said, organized when it's easy, accessible for me so I can find things and use them quick and, uh, quick and easy. But uh, once again, this is the room that I just um, 
created for them. I love it. Spend a lot of time once again over here. Uh, we're probably going to set up maybe a mini room for them today. I'm not quite sure. We'll see how that goes. Um, but this is this is it. Um, as you can see, right now I only have three uh, Art Fashion Bridget dolls, but I'm excited to see who's next. Um, I'm excited to see who's next because these art, fa these fashion art BJDs are an addiction. Is that a bad word? I, I think it's the right <laughs> word. <laughs> I think it's the right word. So I'm excited to see who you get next. And uh, I learned a lot of things um, from Allison. How and what and where and everything about how to get them. I'll watch pretty much all of her videos. I love it. Um, and she's the main reason I have my incognito guest uh, who right after her I got Aphrodite and my Joy Dolls uh, is the last one. It's the face mold is Moon. So these are the three ones that I have now and I can't wait to see who will be next. Me either. Well, Katya, I just want to say thank you so much for inviting us into your doll room today. I have enjoyed it so much. I'm going to still enjoy it after this video is <laughs> over. So, um, but I definitely, like, I love the tips that you've given us about how you kind of stage things and do things. Because if you guys follow her on Instagram, she stages things better than anybody that I've seen. And I just love like looking at your photographs because they're so soothing because they're so well staged and everything looks so cozy and chic and fashionable all at the same time. And so I love seeing like in reality how you actually put all this together. And as you can see, it doesn't take uh, too many things to stage. It doesn't take too um, complicated. It's quite easy. The things that you can see here, mm -hmm. they most of them are bought on Amazon. Some are from Michaels. Um, uh, like this chair is from Cutie Pie Doll Clothing. Once again, I and this was actually made for 18-inch dolls, but most of my dolls use it because I love it. It's so simple but so useful. Yes. And I love useful stuff. Right. So that's why setting up the rooms for me is another passion of mine, and I really love doing that. And maybe we'll do one today. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave links in the description below to her Etsy shop and her Instagram in case you're not already following her. And please stay tuned because we're going to have some more videos as well of us together. So Yay. you're going to want to watch those too. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching this one, guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, and Victory Run. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please be sure to check the video description and see the link. Thank you.